coming out here today. I want to thank my council for coming out here today. And I want to thank you members of the press for showing interest in matters of this country. I'd like to inform you that uh, I've been called here without any warning. They didn't tell me what they were inviting me about. And as you know, ordinarily the Anti-Corruption Commission would inform a person what they're inviting them for. For me, unfortunately, they didn't inform me. My lawyers wrote to them last Friday asking, why are we inviting our client so that we can prepare? They have the letter here at Anti-Corruption Commission, but did not respond. As a law-abiding citizen, I decided to present myself, only to be told that the whole state machinery is investigating me on a matter on which my company borrowed money from an another company. <laughs> I wonder when it has become for a person, a director of a company, to borrow money from another company. I wonder when this has become a corrupt matter. I was thinking they would tell me that maybe when I was Minister of Agriculture, I maybe sold fertilizer which was for the state, or that I awarded a contract dubiously. They invite me here to come and tell me that in 2016, you entered into a loan agreement with a Chinese company, and that that Chinese company gave you a loan. I'm yet to go to court to go and hear when obtaining a loan has become an offense. Mm -hmm. What's even worse is that I said, you have read this matter to me. I have my counsel. Can you give me counsel time to consult my counsel? And they said, no. We will not give you any time to consult counsel. We will just warn and caution you. It is my constitutional right to be represented adequately by counsel. And I cannot be represented by counsel before counsel understand the matter on which I'm being charged. And yet the warning and caution was read out to me and I was made to sign it. Without being given time for me to even instruct my lawyers. What is happening to this country? Where are we headed? The one thing I would like to say and say it very clearly is that the investigating officer even said to me, I have instructions that this matter must end. I have to go to my supervisors. I'd like to say, we know why institutions, investigative wings of government were transferred from being independent to being put at state house. We know. So we know that the supervisor is no other than the occupant at State House. He's the one who's giving instructions. Yes. But let me make this clarion call to Zambians. This harassment of PF shall not bring us to our knees. Instead, it's going to make us even stronger. Yes. Arrest, arrest me. Arrest me for my company borrowing. When I, my company borrows, is it your money? No. Yeah. 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 If in the event that I fail to pay back the loan, it is not you who redeem me. I'll have to sell my own assets to redeem that loan. Yeah. Of what interest is it to you? Yeah. Yeah. Members, 
of the patriotic front, my friends. Let us go out in Kawata. I yes. know that they want uh -huh. to kill us in Kawata. Let's go out in Kawata now and campaign and teach them a lesson in Kawata. Yes. As I live here, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going to continue my campaign. Yes. Dear friends, thank you very much for coming to give me solidarity. I really appreciate your presence. Thank you very much. Don't go in Bwiri, in Bwiri, what? What in Bwiri? In Bwiri. If this is really why the acting president was caught, somebody must resign on moral grounds. Yes. If we wasted our time of being in Kawata this morning, to come and escort our acting president on the basis of a loan, private loan that he got from a private institution, not government, then somebody must resign on moral grounds. This idea of wanting just to hit headlines that the vice president of PF has been called at and corruption so that people think that PF is heading for disaster. This is very, very bad. I call upon the president to exercise his conscience and stop this wasting of public resources. Because even the SEC, to ask somebody over a loan that he got privately, mm. is waste yeah, of resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because man hours is money. Yeah. They are working to find out from people how they got a private loan. Yeah. President Againde Ichilema, I've told you and I want to say this again. That retribution is not good. Vengeance is for God. And if you are a leader, even if somebody did very bad to you, you must put that aside and forge ahead. What we want is to put food on the table of the Zambian people, not the high cost of living that they have experienced, they are experiencing now. So this to me is a lot of nonsense and it must stop.